Hello there, everyone. The Andrade here, and welcome back to episode 69. Nice. Uh, of our All the Mod 6 to the Sky Let's Play series. Yes, I am immature. Thank you. Leave me alone. Uh, anyway, <laughs> continuing with our last episode. Uh, so last episode, we got ourselves up to the uh, iridescent altar in Astral Sorcery, and we need to start looking for Vicio in the sky so we can get our irradiant star. Now, I will tell you, we are doing our constellation searching extremely late into the Astral Sorcery progression. Normally, you know, you would do this when you had the first altar and all that stuff. So it may seem a little bit out of order, some of you, but yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, first off, though, what we want to do is place some astral relays around our altar because part of the crafting process with this altar tier is placing of items in these relays for the crafting. So if you look at like our Irradiant Star, these guys that are like surrounding the craft is uh, items that are gonna go into these Astro Relays. Anyway, so let's see, what do we got? Uh, we are looking for Vicio ideally, and I need to uh, take a screenshot or pull up what Vicio looks like because I am blanking. Vicio. Constellation. I'm just Googling it real quick so I can see. Um, but we need the new Vicio. Um, no. Come on. One dot one six changed what Vicio or what the constellations look like, so I'm having to uh, specifically find the pre one dot one six versions of it, or I'm sorry, post one dot one six. And I did not mean to break that. Okay, telescope, go back down. So it looks like a square with a triangle sticking. Not you. Not you. You, yes, this is Vicio. Where with a triangle sticking off of the side is Vicio. I have discovered the constellation Vicio. So now if we go in here and we see Vicio, we can see all of the good stuff about Vicio and you know what we need to do with Vicio. So we actually unlock the paper. And if we uh, look in here, you see it's kind of got this little blue glowy thing. It means we're good to go. Um, so in theory, can we still not put that there? I got to remember how to actually do this crafting process. Um, let me, let's take a peek in our book here real quick. Radiance. <laughs> Uh, with the successful crafting of the iridescent altar, welcome you as a fully fledged natural sorcerer. New horizons await. Um, previously forbidden knowledge is unlocked. Oh, that's nice. So your crafting process, I did not know this. Your crafting process, this says attempting to craft with the iridescent altar will no longer cancel and fail if the available amount of starlight drops below the minimum needed to complete the craft, such as falling starlight levels during dawn. The crafting will be held in stasis at the altar until it um, returns to the minimum level. So what it means is that uh, if you start a crafting process and it drops below, it won't cancel and reject it and, you know, start back over because some of them can be time consuming. It will just hold it until the next day and then it'll continue the craft process, which is kind of nice, to be honest with you. Um, so the iridescent altar, though, it still doesn't tell me how do we craft with this thing. And I can't really remember how. Irradiant star. Shifting stars are well suited to brute force, filtering the light needed. Um... Do we need, ah, I know what we need. I remember now. We need a crystal attuned to Vicio. That's what we have to do. So uh, we do need the attunement altar. So let me go ahead and grab the copy and paste for the attunement altar. 
It's coming back to me now. My first playthrough of Astral Sorcery was in Enigmatica 6, so I've only ever done it once. Bear with me. But I love this mod. Excuse me, sir. Please just go away. Get out of my way. Bam, 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 bam. We can go ahead and put this stuff in my backpack. The withered ribs can go away for now. We'll deal with that at the end of the episode and try and breed those guys again. Uh, copy and paste gadget here. We need a bunch of stuff. So we need marble. We're going to need a bunch of sooty marble for sure. And let's just grab some of everything else and see. What do you say, sir? We are missing. We need more marble arch marble marble arches and even more sooty marble. And arches. Sooty. And that should be all that we need. Okay, so what we're gonna do is place this guy to the back of this. Kind of sort of like that. Are you centered? Not particularly. Oh, we can fix that. Uh, first off that way, let's go that way. You are now centered. We do need you to go up one. Actually, do we? I mean, technically it is in line with the grass. Yeah, it's in line with the grass, but we could tear this down and then connect it in some way that makes it look nice, or we can just, you know, do that. And yeah, this thing's really in the way, but whatever. Okay, there we go. So now we actually need to make the attunement alter itself. Which is this guy. Uh, so in order to do this, we need a any kind of rock crystal, some star metal, a relay, which luckily we had another relay. We don't need the marble except for the marble that we need, which is this. We need aquamarines. We need some star metal. We need relays and a rock crystal. And I kind of I'm trying to do this quickly because we want uh Vicio is in the sky tonight so we can actually get this done if we can uh well, get it done. Where is my resonating wand? Let's go ahead and do this. And while that's doing that, let's grab a bucket. We also need to make some more astral relays, so we need to get that done too. Rock crystal and some stardust. Go ahead and do the thing. Uh, we need to place this attunement altar down in the center. Ah, so close. In the center. Yes, yes. And then we need more relays. And we can tell that we placed it because we get the particle effects, right? Uh, let's go ahead and tick accelerate our crystal. And it's night daytime. That's okay. We can probably, except for the fact that I wanted to do this with Vicio in the sky. Uh, hopefully it's in the sky tomorrow. We need more relays though. Uh, which is more planks and then just some regular marble. We will do 24, sure. Uh, relays is, oh, and we need gold nuggets. Bam. Uh, yeah, we have enough starlight for this, cool. Okay, now we just need to sleep. 
let the knight arrive. Let's break our crystal. Take that. So we need to attune this crystal to Vicio. Um, so basically what we're going to do is wait for night, pray that Vicio is in the sky. If we put this in our offhand, um, what should happen is these little blue spots will start showing up and they kind of sort of are, but they're not super strong yet. So I don't want to, you know, start placing things and it not be in exactly the right spot, but we're getting there. So this one goes there, 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 there. Basically what we're doing is drawing Vicio with the um, Astro Relays. And it did work for a nanosecond and then quit. Vicio is in the sky. It's the only constellation we have discovered. So if we can see it, it's in the sky. It might just not be high enough at the moment or it might not be like, you know, enough light. So we'll just hang out for a minute. Um, while we're hanging out, let's go ahead and pop down and get our, try and get our wither bee again. Uh, 10 more, sure. We're just blowing through netherite. Not that, you know, not that we're short netherite or anything, but. Okay. Uh, withered bee. And you. Ah, oh, finally, goodness gracious. B jar, let me get these other two out of here. Don't need you, don't need you. Oh, no, I do need you. So we don't need you, and I don't need you. You're the one that we want. You're the one that I want, the one I want. Uh, so what do we need to feed this guy to make him grow faster? Or does it even matter? Well, he just went inside, so it doesn't really matter. It's nether stars, though, that we feed him, by the way. Okay, so let's pop over here. Vicio should be activated, yes. And you can tell it's working because you get this nice, awesome looking particle effect. And what we could do is toss our celestial crystal into the center. Well, if we would have tossed it into the center. Toss it into there and it's going to attune that crystal to Vicio. And it looks pretty darn awesome. And actually, let's, uh, did I? All particle effects. Yeah, look at all of it now. Now it's even crazier. Again, just this whole, I don't even know how, like, how do you even do this? That's a lot of math needed, like, to actually do these effects and everything in the programming. Oh, and since I accidentally entered the center of it, we're tuning ourselves to Vicio now, too. This wasn't intentional, but it works. Ta da. Well, we've now attuned ourselves to Vicio. Um, what that means is if we look inside of our Astral Tome now, we can access the Perks tab, and we have these um, Perk Points that we have the ability to access. And I like this, increased reach. Uh, it's a whole Perk Tree that you can, you know, do all kinds of stuff with. Like, there's a lot in here. Um, depending on who you attuned initially. So we did Vicio. Vicio is the uh, constellation of movement. So if we look in here, um, causes things to move slower. It makes you faster in whatever you do. Uh, it's got rituals, increases the frequency of flight. Uh, so basically, if you had a ritual set up for Vicio, it allows you to fly in the area. But anyway, yeah, so that's uh, attunement. But now we should have the ability to actually craft this if we put this crystal here. Ta-da! That's how we do this. So give me all this stuff back. And then we did that, we did that. Now we just need this. So we need to cut a little bit of illumination powder. So we need some gold or glow stone. And that is you. You, 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 
you. Okay. And then we need... Well, first we have to make this. So we need a liquid starlight bucket. Just need some aquamarine and uh, some more stardust. And that is the shifting star. And then from there, we can make the irradiant star. Um, so that is going to require some more things. What do we need? We just need feathers. We need four feathers. 64 loop. Okay, so for the crafting outside, we need illumination powder, stardust powder, and feathers. Okay. So this is iridescent tier crafting recipe. So what's going to happen? You're going to see there's going to be ghost images of what we need to place around the crafting altar that are going to show up. So there we go. There's our first one. We need to put a feather here. And then illumination powder. And then stardust. And another feather. And illumination powder. And probably another stardust. I can't remember. And that should be it. All right. All right. Yeah. And that's it. And then from there, we got a irradiant star. And that is pretty much um, all we need to do with Astral Sorcery in order to, uh, for the all the mod star. Like I said, normally we'd play through more Astral Sorcery and actually, you know, dive into it and do the things that we need. But uh, for our purposes here, we really don't need to. Let's go ahead and see. What do we need for this? We need the Oblivion Star, Dark Nether Star Blocks, which is Obsidian Ingots. learn how to do you um, obsidian dust don't I know how to make obsidian ingots no I know how to make refined obsidian oh well this is easy enough then you can go into an energized smelter yes no just obsidian with iron can um, but the induction smelter can handle obsidian dust into obsidian ingots so we'll do that recipe you go into the induction smelter and let's say I want obsidian ingots and I want let's just get 64 of those because we have plenty of obsidian into our thermal area our induction smelter and let's help this bad boy out so he's actually doing pretty good on his own to be honest I mean he is upgraded uh, so the Oblivion Shard needs these. We're going to teach the system how to do this because I don't want to. So you, Dark Nether Star is, Dark Nether Star block is this. And you are this. And we're going to need a total of two of those Dark Nether Star blocks. Bam. And it should actually pretty make it pretty quick. Like, shouldn't be too big of a deal. Dark Nether Stars, what are you used for, by the way? Draco Arcanus Scepter, uh, the spawner scrap, and that's it. Okay. There we go. The Oblivion Shard is crafted. Uh, this guy sits in the center top area, and we are getting there look at that folks slowly but surely we only have a few more things plus our uh, surrounding items but we are almost there to the all the mod star like we're not too terribly far off you are awake so let's give you some nether stars grow up 
because you need to start producing me some honeycombs, yeah? You would think the nether stars would, you know, make him grow faster. Especially since I've used almost a whole stack of nether stars on this dude. Okay. Uh, so what we need is our absorption hopper. I'm going to put this guy on top. His area is going to be what? Bring it down. Yes. Okay. And then what we can do just to validate that it's working. Look at that. Look at how much time I have in a bottle. 112 hours. Uh, we can take accelerate the B. We need to get our scraper. And then this guy should pick up the uh, honeycombs. And ultimately what we need is 27 wither honeycombs. Yeah. And we'll be able to get this going, which shouldn't be too bad. So we just need this bee to put some work in, get us some honeycombs and get going. Okay, so that bee is going to do what he needs to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and set up the foundations for the rest of this. So what we need is a withering trap, which requires a wither rose, which we conveniently got. So there's that. Um, we need a glyph of wither, which is mythical clay. Do we run out of all of our clay? There's mythical clay. We need a wither skeleton skull. We need our Ars Nouveau book. We have to upgrade it. We are not able to do this spell yet. Ars spell book. We need to get the Archmage spell book. Luckily, we had a Totem of Undying. I bought it from one of those wandering traders uh, one time when he walked by. So thank goodness. And that's creative. Okay, so we got the Archmage. Archmage. Arc. Archer Arc. Now I wonder, Archmage. Yeah, Archmage spellbook. Uh, so then we can craft tier three spells now. So we can go ahead and put the clay in and the skeleton skull. And it should get our Glyph of Withering. Really, I should do two of these so I can learn one, but it's okay. I'll never use it. Um, so that takes care of those two. So then we just need Charm of Wither 2, four of them, which is going to require us to make 12 potions of Wither, um, which is Wither Skeleton Skulls. Okay, so let's get some bottles of water. There's 12. Um, we need some Nether Wart. We need our brewing stand. We need some blaze powder. Let's go ahead and get the awkward potions going at least. That's you and you. And then it's a, uh, yeah. Wither skeleton skulls. You need to accelerate it too. You're taking too long. And glowstone. Okay. That was absolutely incorrect. Uh, so you guys turn into awkward. And then we go to withering. And then we go to Withering 2. Don't put too much in there. That's, I took Accelerated too much. Yeah. Be careful with your tick Accelerating. It put too much Glowstone in, and that's what it turned it into those Calming Potions. Nether wart. I need three more bottles of water. Uh, 
uh, Wither Skeleton Skull. And a Glowstone. So that should be all of those that we need to make um, four of those. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four of these. I don't understand why it says I'm missing the blaze powder when it's literally right there. One, two, one, two, three, four. All right, then y'all can go away. So then the only thing we need is the honeycomb blocks from our wither bee, which we should, you know, it should start generating. It's going to just take time for him to do his thing. But like, look, it just uh, the honey just now hit full. So this thing will scrape it. At some point. Yeah, look, there we go. We got two in there already. And it's going to pull out, you know, all five. So, yeah, pretty darn nifty. It'll just keep going and doing its thing. Then we need a total of 27. So it's not terribly too much in there that we're gonna have to uh, get. But yeah, that is almost takes care of, you know, simultaneously two of our items at a time. So next is our pulsating black hole, um, which we actually honestly, didn't we make the void sigil? Yes, we made the void sigil. We need a jar of voiding, which means we have to set up our enchanting apparatus from Ars Nouveau. The advanced void upgrade, we can probably, you know, just make this really quick. Shouldn't be too bad. That's you. You. A lot of this is just like, you know, this miscellaneous crafting. So we have that for us now. Uh, the nullifier just requires us to make a redstone servo. Bucket of lava. There's that. Um, we need to get into uh, a fusion reactor. You are easy enough. I just need to get some living rock. Um, mining gadgets upgrade. Okay. Still waiting to get to tier eight on that. Uh, the energy cube requires an ultimate energy cube. Bam. Okay, so we have the ultimate energy cube, and then we just need to create the creative one. So we hit start on that, uh, and then that should get us a empty creative energy cube. So that's all we need. Uh, now, for future reference, in order to make a infinite energy cube that has infinite power, you have to combine this with an all the mod star and input max int energy into this, which is going to take almost literally forever. That's a lot of power that needs to go into this thing to get a creative energy cube, <clears throat> but eventually it'll be doable. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Uh, what else do we need? The jar avoiding the mana void should be pretty easy to make. It's been a while since we've been over to the Batania area. We just need some stone on us. Uh, stone, where are you? Just regular stone. Give me. Oh my gosh, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're in my way. I don't even know what you are, but you're in my way, whatever you are. You're from Ars Nouveau. Go away. Is that unnecessary slaughter? Probably. Do I care? No, they're in my way. Get out of my way. And then we need to, we have to dive into this too fairly soon to get uh, some more of this stuff done. Living rock, bam, that's that. And then we can make the mana void, bam. 
So we got most of the stuff here. We need to do the Ars Nouveau enchanting and everything, but we can work on that. Um, maybe next episode. Maybe next episode we'll start working on cranking out some of these, you know, minor things that we need. Still need to work on this thing. This is going to be a setup, by the way. And most of this, we can probably make most of this actually now, except for this, because this requires the mechanism. Fission reactor, or fusion reactor. But anyway, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.